ho, 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 tis the season. Well, maybe it's not uh, Christmas. Hi, this is Gary, a whiskey for Echo Echo Yankee, but it is a season. It's lightning season. And uh, every year I go through problems with lightning damage uh, to my ham radio station. Thankfully, not on the antenna lines, and I don't lose uh, amateur radio equipment like transceivers or whatnot, but every year I uh, lose uh, my uh, DSL uh, modem and other related networking equipment. And I don't think I'm alone. How many people here viewing this video have lost equipment to lightning damage? Well, I want to report a little success and maybe give you some ideas to think about for your own station or home. At the W4EEYQTH, uh, three or four times a year, I lose my AT&T U-verse DSL router. Uh, I also have a secondary router behind that, and that's been blown out uh, many times. And I had a security DVR, cameras, other things that uh, are located in that central point that might be uh, connected to the internet. I tend to lose them as well. And more importantly than that, I lose the time it takes uh, to restore my internet connection uh, because I have to go up uh, to the station. You remember I operate remotely a lot. Uh, I have to confirm what the damage is. Then I have to make an appointment with AT&T for a technician to come out. I have to commend AT&T. They've been very good. Um, our area of the county is very prone to lightning, uh, and they uh, know the drill. They just come out and they replace the uh, U-verse modem uh, and get us back up and running. But it uh, just takes time, and uh, that's something I'd like to overcome if I possibly could. Well, it's spring here in 2019, and I had a lightning strike about a week ago. And, of course... I lost my U-verse DSL modem, as expected. Uh, you pick it up and rattle it, and the parts are rolling around in the bottom. But I was very surprised that this time I did not lose my secondary router. I use an IQ router from uh, Evenroute. Uh, it's an excellent device. Uh, what it does is actually finds the lowest latency paths between uh, points that you visit or connect to. Uh, and for uh, remotely operating a ham radio station, having low latency is really important. Uh, also, I can uh, set up the uh, port forwarding uh, and all of the other assignments necessary uh, on the IQ router. And if I, I don't have to change it out, then that uh, uh, gets me uh, time ahead. Uh, and what happened was that the IQ router survived. And the reason it survived was because of one of these. This is an Ethernet surge protector that uh, you can buy on Amazon. There's a link here on the screen. And I'll also put a link uh, in the uh, description box. And what it did was it took the hit. It took the surge coming from the DSL modem uh, and bypassed it to ground and saved my router. So for $14, that was a big deal. The router is 120 bucks. So I got these. They're made in China. I didn't know if they would be effective, but this one absolutely was. So how can I protect my um, U-verse uh, modem? Uh, I've talked to the AT&T folks. They do use surge protectors in the line, uh, but um, they haven't been effective. Well, doing a little searching, and I came up with this device which is advertised as a telephone modem surge protector. But reading in the uh, comments uh, on this device, people were using it for DSL lines. Oh, that sounds interesting. And since I knew the other Ethernet device worked, I figured, well, this might have a chance as well. So what I did is ordered up uh, a couple of those, and then using the standard USOC, or Universal Service Ordering Code, color code, uh, which AT&T abides by, I was able to break out uh, my uh, DSL connection it utilizes two lines uh, and they're interleaved together in the modem. So I had to actually provide surge protection on both lines. And so one line was on red and green and the other was on yellow and black. 
And so what I did was a bit of what I call ugly engineering. And on the top, you can see those are the DSL line surge protectors. And on the bottom, those are a couple of the Ethernet uh, protective devices. And so I haven't had a lightning strike um, after adding the DSL surge protectors. In the case of a lightning strike, I fully expect them to be destroyed. But what I may be able to do is go up uh, to the station and uh, immediately bypass them and check and see if my modem is staying up. So anyway, I wanted to make you aware of this uh, uh, solution uh, to a potential problem. And if you've got DSL and you have a DSL uh, lightning damage on a periodic basis like uh, I have, uh, then this is a solution that you might want to consider. Thanks for watching. Please uh, check out my website at w4eey.com and look for the links to the uh, items that I've mentioned uh, in the description uh, page on uh, the YouTube uh, uh, channel. 73 from Whiskey 4, Echo Echo Yankee.